in this session we are going to start working on the power share in the sharepoint and how we can use the power share in the sharepoint okay so here in uh, i think in around 2005 to 2010 we are using the command line tool to do some operations okay so what is the what kind of operations we perform if you go in any uh, computer screen you can see the cmd you can see the command prompt okay so what is the purpose of this command prompt why we use this command prompt if i will say the ping uh, 188.255.255.255 okay so if i will say just a ping this ip just i want to check this ip is uh, connecting or not okay so i i need to use the command line tool and through which i will connect and check that ip i am my system is trying to connect to that uh, particular machine okay so so the thing is that i am not able to do that okay right now i am not able to uh, connect is there any user interface is there any user interface in a, uh, operate, our operating system through which i can directly click and say ping no for that purpose i need to say command line command prompt i go on a command prompt and write write down my command and ping it so, because what there is no specific user interface through which i will connect and uh, check the i ping the particular ip because there is no specific user interface defined for that okay like if we go say i will ask you please uninstall any software what you do you will go on control panel okay control panel then add remove software and you will remove that software and install that software right here programs and features and you can in remove and install the software from this list right and you know that for that purpose user interface is already defined user inter what i'm saying user interface is already but there are some thing for that there is no user interface there is a no user interface for that purpose what we need to do we need to go on a command prompt and the right command for that and we perform our operations in a operating system windows operating system command prompt is there which is to perform the operation those are not performed by using the user interface user interface means whatever the things we can perform using the click 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 okay you no need to write anything you just click click and uh, perform uh, the, the operations to the user interface but there is something for that there is no user interface we need to interact to the some command some scripts after that after 2008 9 uh, there is new operating system launch introduced by the microsoft and they come up with the power shell okay they come up with the and you see the option here in your operating system if you say power here you just write here search with the power on windows 7 operating system or windows uh, 7 plus operating system here you can see the windows power shell okay so what is meaning of the power shell the power shell which is power shell okay windows power shell i'll open this windows power shell so it having the blue screen command prompt having the black screen so command prompt having the black black screen here this is a command prompt both both the role of both okay this the role of this power shell and this command prompt both are having the same role both are having the same role but still why this two means already command prompt is there but still microsoft why come up with the power shell the power shell is having their own set of the uh, commands and which will simplify the things uh, than the command prompt in the, means in a command prompt you, you need to write the lengthy code you need to write the lengthy script or command but here in a powershell script you can directly run the powershell file okay i am saying powershell file directly run from the windows powershell so like same way in a powershell in a sharepoint also in a sharepoint earlier there is a earlier i think in year 2007 uh, we uh, used to write uh, what that script name uh, command line eat 
it's not you see not this image uh, okay so up to the sharepoint 2010 okay we need to write the uh, command through the sharepoint uh, there is a command prompt for to interact with the sharepoint we use the command prompt for that okay so uh, after the sharepoint 2010 sp20 uh, in sharepoint 2010 they come up with the sharepoint managed managed shell okay sharepoint managed shell which is similar to the uh, our operating system windows powershell means what we do we are going to interact with the sharepoint using the using the commands which is in the powershell earlier there was the command prompt is used but from sharepoint 2010 they come up with the managed shell okay so uh, which is for the powershell okay so how we work with the sharepoint through this uh, managed shell for that purpose we need to install sharepoint manage management shell okay in our system and through that we will interact to the sharepoint with our sharepoint online as well okay so if you think that if we think powershell okay if we think about the powershell okay so if we think about the powershell the powershell here you know now the powershell is divided in a two part okay while writing the powershell in our sharepoint online which is divided in a two part one is we use the our uh, ecms script to connect to the uh, our sharepoint site and work on it and other is using the our or we can here we can say we use the sharepoint management shell and i say ecma script or you can say i use the context to create okay i will explain you i use the context to uh, connect okay so there is a this is a one way to write the sharepoint powershell script and another way which is called as a pnp script okay so pnp script means as you uh, you know we have the javascript library and uh, different library the pnp in a whatever the thing we write in the sharepoint managed shell which is a simplify in a pnp script what is the it a simplify okay simplify in a pnp script how they simplify the pnp script having their own library what what is having their own library you know the uh, library right in a javascript in a jquery we use the library okay so here library okay so here it having predefined methods commandlets okay so through which this power pnp script run so we can write go through the sharepoint manage shell and ecm script client side object model okay client side object model here i can add one more word here say client side obj model okay so through which also we can write the uh, sharepoint uh, write the write share powershell script okay in a sharepoint management shell and also there is another option in the pnp script so what is the role of the pnp script i'll show pnp script at the end at the end pnp script use the client side object model only but it will simplify more as you know in a jquery jquery is converted into javascript and then it will goes to the browser okay same way pmp script libraries are there predefined methods it will again converted into your ecm script i'm saying ecm script and then we'll get the it goes to the uh, server oh shit okay to manage okay no problem so it goes to the server and it will execute so these are the two way through which we work okay and uh, we interact with our sharepoint okay so why that powershell script is required in a sharepoint there is a user interface but there are something we cannot they it don't have any user interface okay to do some back end operation okay to to perform perform some uh, back end operations okay to perform some back end operations or we can say the uh, the uh, the functionality 
ability to perform bulk activity if I will say add 1000 resource uh, users those are in Excel and I will say please add them in a SharePoint group if you say you will you will try to do in a uh, add one by one it, it will be possible no it will take a long time around week time to add but what you do you have excel you just create powershell script and within a 10 15 minutes all the users will add it in a uh, group so this is called bulk activity i will say add the uh, some excel list items in a sharepoint so what you do, you will write the some PowerShell script and through the PowerShell script you import the Excel uh, entries into the SharePoint. So like this way, what you are doing, you are doing some bulk activities for or some activities for which there is a no uh, user interface. Okay, to perform the activity, to perform the activity, the is no user interface okay okay so there are many kind of activities if i will say uh, you give me the list of all the sites in excel so will it be possible to you uh, to get one one by one if there are around 50000 sites in your sharepoint will it be possible no so this kind of operation those are performed using the powershell script the operation those don't have any user interface which will be directly implemented through the power system so we just move into our hands-on now how we can write the power system and how we can perform the power system operation okay so i stop here in next session we'll start our hands-on install the prerequisite things